Hi, and welcome to Skinema Theater. I am your subject matter expert, Gigi Holiday, and I'm just here to drop some information. Alrighty, so as you know, Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion just released the track, uh, WAP, which you can go look that up and see what that stands for. A lot of people, a lot of people are going crazy over their lyrics. There are people who are pro the lyrics, and there are people who are not pro the lyrics. So, because they're not pro the lyrics, people are just saying, like, the song is raunchy. It's really, really, you know, like, degrading. How dare we? But let me tell you about Lucille Bogan. Who's Lucille Bogan? Let's take a look in our trusty book. Lucille Bogan was an African-American female singer-songwriter known for singing blues uh, and also one of the first to be recorded. She was also recorded under the pseudonym name Bessie Jackson. Now, you're probably wondering why. Why is this woman in the 1930s so important to the song WAP? Wow. Well, many of her songs were sexually explicit and was generally considered to be uh, dirty blues. Yeah, sexually explicit. You heard me right, bitches. So, in the 1930s, her songs definitely talked about drinking and sex. And she also sings one of my favorite raunchier, dirtier songs, which is called Shave Em Dry. You want to hear Shave Em Dry? Hey, Google, play Shave Em Dry by Lucille Bogan, please. Shave Em Dry by Lucille Bogan, sure. Playing on Spotify. I got nipples on my titties. Dig is the end of my thumb. I got some between my legs. I'll make a dead man come. Oh, daddy. Baby, won't you shave them dry? So this and many of her other songs are just explicit with sexual references. She also has a song about being a lesbian. Fun fact, apparently, some of the stuff she would just be spitballing singing and then she would be shocked at her own raunchiness. Who hasn't had that happen after a few shots of Henny? <laughs> While you're listening to WAP, or you have some relative that is in your Facebook talking about, I hope that means with all praise, you better send them their way over to Lucille Bogan and they can get some of that Dust Bowl air freak Nick. So hopefully you enjoyed the information that I provided to you today and uh, go check that ass with some Lucille Bogan. I am your subject matter expert, Gigi Holiday. Until then,